Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back and we're going to test the Endura shocks, the new shocks on the Rock Buggy. Uh, of course, I'm your host Mike and hope you guys are doing well and getting a chance to RC. we got a very warm day out here in November. And you haven't seen much about this on my channel yet. But we are getting a rock crawler course put in over top of Pandemic Speedway and I uh, just thought this is a good opportunity to show you guys the Enjora working. It's magic. As you can see that ate up. Oh this is not gonna go good here. And we're gonna have to save that. But as you can see it handled all the obstacles on the way up really well. Let's see if we can do it. Oh. It bounces over the train really well here. In and about around my house. For the bill, got a little step up here. Just breezes right up there. This tire is not finished yet. We're still work in progress on the course. Gotta get used to pointing the radio at the car because now that's uh, where the camera is mounted. Let's try and get a little less shake in the camera for you guys to have a better view. Well, my head's still tracked there, see? I gotta get the, the radio to point at it. It's hard to see here. Enjoy is just eats this straight up. Got to bank it out wide here. Try and get over that corner. Now this is work in progress. I do have the SCX24 and CR18 from Hobby Plus, and they really work well on this crawler course. And when we get to the 110 scales, things become a lot tighter. Okay, I can get it to go that way. No problem. Everything goes good here on the crawler course, but the main test will be getting this thing out on the rocks. So let's get to that part of the video right now. Okay, so if you guys have been following the channel, you'll notice this pile of rocks nearby. And uh, we've brought this out here before and some of our other crawlers in my fleet. So we'll see how this thing does with the new shocks. We had some droop before going, trying that out. But um, we're going to work our way through here. Looks like the pile has been changed a bit since we last been here. You can see that it's just powering along just nice. I seem to work my wheel into a spot. Let's see if we can get out of it. Nice. Oh, keep getting stuck in there. But, uh. There we go. Yeah, man. This power being a bit of a rock bouncer. Work your way out of spots. Here we go. And looking good. And the shocks are working just great. I apologize for any wind noise. Obviously, we're uh, more out in the open here. And we're near a major highway over there. And uh, it is like over 70 degrees today in November. And it's not totally unheard of, but it's pretty ex uh, rare so if you, you take what you get and and we're really liking this uh, weather right now and it's great to get out in our sea so we are getting cold temperatures at night so you can see the leaves are all dropping and uh, there's leaves everywhere the trees are becoming bare it's winter approaches here in canada but uh really cool that so we can still rc these different times of the year. I gotta try and do the harder thing here. Oh, I don't want to get over that hump there, but it's not very good uh, spot there. 
rocks are pretty big and piled. But going across it here is pretty darn easy. I like that very much. Let's try and come back the other way. So if you're thinking of uh, rock bouncing or crawling with this guy, those stock shocks are going to get you only so far. They're pretty good for what you just coming out of the box. You just want to have some fun, but if you want to tune it up, I think for uh, 20 US ship, you can grab a pair like this off of AliExpress and uh, they are working just fine. Let's... So there it is guys, the new shocks here. Gonna need some new tunability, but I'm very happy with the travel they have. Even with the soft springs, they're still a little stiff. This is a very light RC compared to a lot of other crawlers that are out there that uh, have heavier chassis, heavier bodies on them. But it works well for this and uh, might even try a droop setup for these too. Anything I try and experiment with it, I'll pass it along to you guys. Thanks for tuning into this video as always. Hope everyone's doing well. Peace, take care, and we'll see you soon on the next one.